Good afternoon, dear friends. Welcome to the Queen's Botanical Gardens on the very happy occasion of the wedding ceremony of Glennis and Emilia. You've all been an important part of their lives as individuals, and they are honored that you are with them as they join their lives together. And we remember those who are celebrating with us in spirit today, those who were so important in the lives of the bride and groom. Dear friends, Glennis and Emilio have invited us here today to share in the celebration of their marriage, their wedding. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to recognize a bond that already exists. This marriage is one expression of the many varieties of love. Love is one, although its expressions are infinite. It is fitting to speak briefly about love. We live in a world of joy and fear and search for meaning and strength in the seeming disorder. We discover the truest guideline to our quest when we realize love in all its magnitude. Love is the eternal force of life. Love is the force that allows us to face fear and uncertainty with courage. But you must be of love a little more careful than of anything else. For the giving of yourself in love is difficult, for you must learn to give of yourself without total submission. Therefore, in your giving, give your joy, your sadness, your interest, your knowledge, your understanding, all expressions that make up your life. But in this giving, remember to preserve yourself, your integrity, your individuality. This is the challenge of love.